Okay folks, just give a little demo of the Thunder DC DC charger. I've had it for a little while now and um, this is the 20 amp model and I've just taken a copy of the, the manual here. I've got it uh, installed, well wired with the correct size wiring. That's the model number there, it's a TDR02020 and um, I've got some concerns about the solar side of things. It's actually pumping in about 15.6 volts sometimes into the battery, which is way too high. Um, DC DC is working okay, but I'm just going to check it with this video. Hopefully it won't take too long. And that's what the display looks like on the, um, in the manual. And very, very interesting, it says here that the percentage display shows the stage at which the DC DC battery charger is in not the percentage of the battery charge. Well, that's misleading, really, isn't it? At 80%, the battery is fully charged. So that's not real good in, as far as I'm concerned. It's, um, anyway, I've got it wired up, and uh, it's eight-stage charging. So we'll just see what happens now. This is the little setup I've got. I've got a light, just a workshop light, hooked up to a little lead-acid battery there. There's your DC, DC charger there, coming out of the back of the Anderson plug there. I've got the, um, the smart chargers disconnected on the car, so I easily get over 14 volts at that plug there. So probably 14.2, 14.4, something like that, coming from the engine when I start it. Got a 30 amp fuse in there. Now that's the unit there. I'm going to put the phone down now and start the car and we'll just see what these voltages are doing. Okay, hopefully you can see that. I'll be back in a tick. All right, the engine's running and the Thunder unit has started and it's pumping in 14.45 volts out of the DC DC. Now the charger is saying that it's at the 50% stage of its charging cycle. Not that's not 51% in the battery. So it's pretty crap that it shows you that, and not the actual percentage of the battery. Now I've got 14 and a half volts going in there. That battery, I'm guessing, is probably about 90% charged. So it won't take long. For it to go into float mode but just keep an eye on those voltages that I've got on the voltmeter there because when it's got solar going in here that's actually shooting up to 15.6 volts so I do not use that for solar under any circumstances because if you've got a fridge or some other um, sensitive circuitry um, it could blow it up so here we go it's saying it's reaching 85 84 percent in its charging cycle now and it's still pumping in 14.56 now I'm going to turn the load off I'm going to switch that light off just to see what difference it makes so the lights off now and it's gone into float mode by there the voltage has dropped right off voltage is showing 13.6 volts so at 85 percent if I go into my little charging thing there I don't know if you can see that it's saying that what is it at 85 percent well it gives you stages stage stage one through to stage eight but what is 85 percent of the charging thing so that's the whole thing is confusing um, if it's gone down into what maybe it could be an absorption mode we'll just see what's happening if, yeah look at that 15.25 yeah that's probably boost charge six 
it goes up to 15.2 depending on the battery chemistry for up to one hour up to 20 amps if the current drops to less than four amps it will switch to stage seven so it's still pumping in 15.3 volts 15.2 15.3 volts now is that going to damage circuitry at that amount it, yeah i don't know to me it, it might be a bit high um anyway look that's 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 the unit there so I'll, hopefully i've sort of tried to explain some of it but uh i don't think i would bother i'd spend my money on on something else next time uh yeah that i wouldn't really recommend this anyway i hope you got something out of the video cheers